So when you're, so um, <laughs> I'm trying to think about how to answer because depending on the stage, it varies pretty widely. So when you're looking at a seed company, which a seed for your context, a company that's raising a seed, you know, it might just be a founder and like, there's no team, like there's no product, you know, it's just like very high level. Um, so when you're looking at, you know, seed and A, uh, a rounds, it could, it really varies quite widely. Um, I'd say now, particularly the market is pretty hot and that like we've gotten, I was actually just working on a deal and uh, we spoke to the company before the holidays and they're like, oh yeah, you know, we're going to raise in Q1. So let's touch base in January. And then we touched base the week after the holidays and they were like, we've actually got a lot of interest. We're looking to close around next week. So can you do your diligence in, in the seven days? <laughs> um, and that's like common, you know, it's, it's like super, it's, you know, there's so many factors that go into that timeline, but I'd say it can be, some funds are prepared to do diligence in 24 hours, 48 hours. Cause when you're looking at um, a really early company like that, and the only thing you need is conviction on the founder, let's say someone on the team knows, knows this founder really well and, you know, knows their story, then maybe that's all they need to know. Um, not really everything, but you know, it's a big, big part of it. Um, you can also be looking at deals. I'd say like what's more common is that you'll spend like two to three weeks, you know, really diving deep on something, you know, doing, having, setting up diligence calls, learning about the competitive landscape, having calls with, you know, their companies doing similar things to try and figure out if this company is actually unique. Um, so I'd say usually it's like a two to three week thing, but it's, it, it varies. Um, yeah.